The Netherlands, with almost 16 million population size, is one of the happiest countries in the world. According to the World Database of Happiness reports, between 2000 and 2009, the Netherlands has a 7.6 average on a 10-scale life satisfaction survey. According to the database, 82% of Dutch people are happy. On average, the Dutch give a score of 7.6 out of 10 for the life they lead. Now we know that the Dutch are among the happiest people in Europe, but how about the happiness of ethnic groups in the Netherlands? People of Turkish, Moroccan, Surinamese and Antillean origin constitute the four largest non-Western groups in the Netherlands. In terms of life satisfaction, researchers have found relatively low life satisfaction among ethnic minority groups in the Netherlands. Factors such as lower income, lower education, poorer health and being an ethnic minority group member play an important role to explain why average life satisfaction was substantially lower than that of the native Dutch. What is more striking is that Turkish immigrants do much better in socio-economic terms of the least happy minority group in the Netherlands. In order to understand the reasons behind that, visiting scholars Özge Gokdemir and Defrim Dumeludak with Martin Vendrick at Maastricht University enrolled in a field study in the Netherlands. But before learning the details about the research project, maybe it's better to ask one of the leading scholars of the happiness field, Ruud Veenhoven, what is happiness and how do we measure it? Well, happiness is a word and a word with different meanings. And the meaning we focus on is happiness as how much you like the life you live. Well, why is happiness uh, so high in the Netherlands? Well, first of all, it's a developed country. We are free uh, um, and uh, we have a very good government. And that's the surprise of this kind of research, uh, that good bureaucracy <laughs> seems to foster happiness. As mentioned previously, Turkish immigrants, although doing well in economic terms, are the least happiest group in the Netherlands. Gokdemir, Dumludak and Wemrik are enrolled in a field study to examine this dilemma. Actually, it's an ongoing project. In 2009 at Erasmus University Rotterdam with Ruth van Owen, we studied the happiness levels of the Turkish and the Moroccan immigrants. And finally, we found Moroccans happier than the Turkish immigrants. But we found a strange result that a social reference income, in other words, social comparison, has a strong effect on the happiness levels of the Turkish migrants. Now, in Maastricht University, we designed a new questionnaire survey and we enrolled deeper analysis, which focuses more variables related to relative income. An important factor that contributes to your happiness is your income. However, what matters for your happiness is not so much the absolute level of your income, but rather what you earn in comparison to others, like friends, colleagues, neighbors. That is relative income. So if you get a wage rise, but your colleagues get a wage rise as well, you don't become much happier. Let me tell about our questionnaire survey. First of all, Martin, Özge and I enrolled in a deep study to engage a new uh, field survey. That's because not every survey includes relative income questions. They ask several questions, but minor. And we decided to make uh, much more questions about relative income effect, like uh, satisfaction with income, just satisfaction with job, just income we ask about. And we have also social comparison questions. Uh, we have reference groups like Dutch, Turkish immigrants, Moroccan immigrants. Also we have questions about uh, neighborhoods, colleagues, etc. The project team applied the survey in Rotterdam. Bogdemir and Dumeludak go to Rotterdam two days a week for Maastricht. So now we are going to Rotterdam with the spatial permission. We are applying the questionnaire survey inside the Turkish consulate. And we have reached 900 respondents so far. And we have been applying the survey since September 2012. Turkish Consulate General in Rotterdam provides consular services to Turkish citizens who live and work in the Netherlands and to ones who travel to the Netherlands. This is a good place for a survey because the people who visit here come from different social and cultural backgrounds, different age groups, different uh, jobs. It reflects the real combination of a Turkish community living abroad. In the waiting room, waiting time for a citizen varies between 15 minutes to sometimes an hour. During that period, researchers gently ask the citizens waiting whether they would like to participate in the research project by answering the questionnaire survey. Face-to-face -face survey is very valuable 
as there can be misunderstanding of the questions. Beyond the survey, respondents mostly provide extra information in the form of interviews. Het is hier heel goed, maar als ze echt aan mijn hart vragen, die ene kant blijft echt in Turkije. Mijn hersen ook daar, maar mijn lichaam is hier.